I stumbled across something really interesting recently. I found that AI can convert images into video content using something called Runway. And I thought, wait a second, would AI videos work for websites? I thought I'd give it a try. So I decided to open up Midjourney, generated an image that looked beautiful, and then exported that image, headed to the Runway website and used their generation to model to create this moving version of the image I had just made using AI. You definitely want to know how to do this because I know that Midjourney is already being used to generate a landing page images for things like hero sections. But this takes it one step further. Not only can you generate a video for your landing page now, which is always better than just a static image, but you can do cool things like generating a separate video for a mobile phone. And that's definitely great because I know that if I try to reuse my videos for mobile phones, they're always zoomed in. So let me show you how I did all of this. So here's the website in question. It's called Runway. And I'll link it in the description below so you guys can check it out. But they've got this new Gen 2 model, which is all this cool stuff that I've been talking about. I had a look down here and it can do text to video, video to video, image to video, and it basically animates the entire frame and you can describe what you want it to do as part of that animation. I've logged into their dashboard and they've got a few different ways to generate videos. I'm just gonna use their new Gen 2 model, which converts text or images to video. And here I'm going to put in something kind of simple, like maybe clouds in the sky. This was generated in just about 10 to 20 seconds, which isn't too bad, especially for AI video. Next is the part that I'm kind of excited to see. It's converting an image into video. I've generated a few using Midjourney. This is one of my favorites here because it's a night sky with lots and lots of colors. And so I've uploaded this to Runway. I'm gonna generate the video based on this image. I'm not gonna give it any additional text and just hope that it comes up with something interesting. And unfortunately, it didn't produce what I was expecting. It's kind of transitioning a scene from a night scene to something like a sunset. I decided to try and combine this image together with a text prompt and I'm going to use more or less the same prompt that I used when I originally created the mid-journey generation for this image. I select to generate and found that the video produced by the AI kind of was the same but also different as if it only pulled inspiration from the photo and created a new scene to generate a video from. I tried it once more just in case this was an accident, but no, it seems to be generating its own image and then turning that into a video rather than using the exact reference image I provided. I think I'll need to do some more testing, but let me move on. Quick pause. Today's sponsor is called QR Tiger. They're a place that helps you generate QR codes. Like you can expect, QR codes are becoming more and more popular these days, from installing apps to ordering online when you need to go to a restaurant to many more places. QR codes is more or less how we interact, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're used for business cards in the future too. Impressive. Very nice. QR Tiger makes this whole process easy. They've actually built a system from the ground up that's also very friendly to developers, as well as compliant to the EU, as well as CA, and many more things. I got a chance to have a look at their systems and you can generate some really cool QR codes using custom characters, as well as custom looks. And realistically, if you want to get into QR codes, this is the place to go to. And here's some trivia. Do you know what QR code actually stands for? It means quick response code. It was developed in 1994 by a Japanese company for logistics, and now it's used pretty much all over the world. I took a look at QR Tiger's documentation, and their API is pretty solid. On top of that, they're easy to get started with because it's entirely free. You can check them out in the link below or using the QR code just up here. It's time to test Runway with an actual website. I'm here on Wix Studio. I've got a hero section here, and I want to add a hero image and then convert this image into a video so that it looks a little bit more interesting. This website is for a construction company, so I'm I'm going to head over to Unsplash and search for a image of a crane. I'm just going to select this one on the right hand side. And while I could generate something from Midjourney, I think this should just do. And I'll head back over to Wix Studio and upload it to use it here on the left hand side of the hero section. Heading back to Runway, I'm going to select to do another image to video. I'm going to upload this image of a crane, which is about 8K in resolution. It'll be interesting to see how the video handles this, but I'm not going to add any text because that didn't work very well last time. This one didn't do too bad, but it doesn't look that real. You can definitely tell it's been generated by AI, but let me actually test it out and put it inside of my website to see how it works as a hero section. Runway does give you the option to download all the files you generate, which is free. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm just going to download it here. It looks like it's maybe a 720p image. 
After this, I'm gonna head back over to Wix Studio and select to add a new element. This time I want to add a video. So I'll select to drag in the video player and just expand it out to use the entire size. Then I'll go to change the video and upload the new file that I just generated from Runway. Using Wix Studio, I can customize it a little bit, changing its focal point. It's basically where it's positioned on the video, but in the middle looks the best. And with all that done, I can now preview it. I've got it set to autoplay, repeating every four seconds, and I think a moving image is better than a static image, though the resolution on it isn't that great. There are other things I could do, like transform these images below to make the static ones more lifelike, and I think I'll give this a shot. I'm gonna select this middle one here of a bridge and see if I can also turn it into a moving video to give an idea of what a page could look like if the entire thing had more animated content rather than static images. This time I took a screenshot and simply uploaded it. It's only about 100 pixels by 100 pixels, but I'm hoping Runway will generate something useful. I added the prompt bridge with time of day slowly changing to evening, and I think that kind of comes out in the video, though the movement on it is very subtle. I'm gonna try and download it and add it to the page as well. Here, once again on Wix Studio, I'll select to add a new element to replace this image. I'll add the video element once more and select to just drag it in the same position and expand it out to be about the same size as the previous image. Now for this video element, I'll once again upload this file that I generated from Runway. And that's it. And now I've got this video and I can preview it inside of the website. While I think that this video looks better, simply because it's a smaller resolution, so it works better in this small frame, I do feel that there isn't very much movement happening. I tried to fix this up by changing the focal point of this video more to the right hand side where the actual image of the sun setting is, but because this video is quite slow, you can't really tell the difference. I could try runway and its higher resolution examples, especially for the version here with the crane, but I think for this point in time, the free version is enough to give you an idea of how it works.